Today we have a masonry uh, design example. So this is from our uh, Canadian Masonry Design Code S304.1-04 uh, and it's a lintel design. So f again it's very similar to reinforced concrete and we have to start with uh, determining what uh, the area steel balanced is first. Now in the code uh, C over D uh, balanced is uh, 0 0.6. It's a little bit uh, lower than in reinforced concrete design, and that's because the uh, strain ultimate in the in the masonry is is lower, 0 0.03 versus 0 0.035. So the uh, C value at balanced conditions would be 0 0.6 times 530. which is going to be 318 millimeters. And then we can find out what the A value is, the stress block A here, by taking uh, the 318 and multiplying it by beta 1. And uh, in the masonry code, beta 1 is 0.8. So that would be 318 times uh, 0.8, which is 254 millimeters. Okay, and now we can solve uh, for the force in the masonry based on this stress block and the value for A. So the force in the masonry, I'll, I'll write it out here. Phi M X zero eight five F prime M B A. So phi of masonry is uh, zero point six. It's a bit lower than what's uh, in the concrete code because the uh, mortar and the uh, and the grout is us is always um, site mixed, whereas in concrete it's uh, mixed at a plant and there's higher quality control, so it's slightly lower, 0 0.6. And the X factor uh, is taking the fact to count that because the stresses in this case are perpendicular to the head joint, they're a lot more weaker than they would be in a wall. In the case of a masonry wall, which is uh, perpendicular to the to the bed joint, so we have 0.5 as the as a continuity factor and uh, 0 0.85 times F prime M 10 MPA is our compressive strength of, 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 the, uh, of the masonry and then B, the width of the masonry is 190 and A is uh, already calculated for balance conditions it's 254 millimeters 0.6 times 0.5 times 0.85 times 10 times 190 times 254. That's 123 uh, kilonewtons. And now we can set the, the force in masonry equal to force in steel. And the force in steel is just uh, phi of the steel area of steel FE, just like in con reinforced concrete design. So we can set the force in the masonry equal to the uh, force in the steel. So 123,000 is equal to this uh, force here. 0 0.85 is 5 steel. Area steel is unknown. It's area steel balanced. We're using uh, the C over D ratio at balance. And it does yield at balance conditions, so it's 400 MPa. So area steel balanced would be 123,000 divided by 0.85 times 400. 362 millimeters squared. So we can safely put in uh, steel that's uh, below 362. The next, no next nominal bar size would be 120M. which has an area of steel 
300 millimeters squared. So for this design problem, we'll use area of steel 300 millimeters squared, which is below uh, area of steel balanced. So let's re now we can compute uh, the force in the masonry and, and steel based on this uh, area of steel. Uh, so the, the force in the steel is uh, now going to be 0 0.85 times the area of steel 300 times yield. We're assuming it yields, which it will because it's below row balanced. So this comes out to be uh, 0 0.85 times 300 millimeters squared times 400 MPa, 102 thousand newtons and then we could set the 102,000 newtons just as we did for for this calculation to the force in the masonry and uh, the force in the masonry would be 0 0.6 phi m times the x factor 0 0.5 times 0 0.85 times 10 MPa times B, the width, which is 190, times A, which is unknown now. So we solve, we solve for A, 102,000 divided by 0 0.6 times 0 0.5, times 0 0.85, times 10, times 190 millimeter wide block. That's 211 millimeters. And then we can calculate what the moment resistances of this section now. So moment resistance would be the force in the steel, which is also equal to the force in the masonry. And uh, we calculate it as uh, 102 kilonewtons from here. Times the lever arm, the distance between these two, which is D, this distance, minus A over 2, that distance there. So D is 530 from here, minus A over 2, 211 over 2, which comes out to be 102 kilonewtons times 530 minus 211 divided by 1,000, puts it to kilonewton meters, 43.4 kilonewton meters. The only other thing to be aware of is that uh, the area is still minimum criteria. So in the masonry code they say row minimum is is 0 0.8 over F yield. And uh, that's on clause 11231. And we're obviously way above that, uh, so we don't even bother computing just by inspection, we know that. And the, these factors here can be found in clause 11216. So uh, in the next uh, tutorial, what I'll do is I'll add uh, additional uh, steel to the section in the top and the bottom uh, to increase the moment resistance further. And we'll, we'll keep going on from there in detail all the checks for uh, a masonry uh, lintel design.